What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how you guys can improve your over-the-shoulder catching. And guys, please leave in the comments what kind of video you'd like to see me break down next. I would really appreciate that. Let's get started. So this first catch right here, this is an absolute dime from Aaron Rodgers that I might add, but this catch over the shoulder, there's a couple main things that I want to talk about. We're going to watch it full speed one more time, and then we're going to break it down. So as you see, this ball is coming in. Main thing I want to talk about is having late hands and looking this ball all the way in and protecting the ball. That's going to be the theme of this video, okay? So when this ball's up in the air, right, main thing I want you to see, see how this DB isn't turned. He's not looking back for the ball with his eyes. He's not looking back trying to make a play because what that does is that would slow him down and all this receiver would be doing is running full speed and he'd kick up into second gear and be able to make this play over the top, right? So he doesn't want to look back. What this DB is going to be doing is playing those hands, right? So that's why we want to have late hands. If this receiver here puts up his hands right now and tries to catch this thing super high, all this DB is going to do, all Coleman's going to do is rip at his arms, knock this ball out and get a PBU and get a pass breakup, okay? So what he does here is he waits till almost the last possible second and lets this, let this ball fall right into this bucket, okay? That's what we need to do anytime this DB's trailing us like this in man coverage because, as you can see, it's not enough time for him to react. You see, he throws up that right arm. He can't even react on this thing. Late hands, ball just let this thing drop right in the bucket. He doesn't show him early looking at this ball. Now, the main, the second thing I want to talk about is his eyes, okay? We want to be looking this thing into the catch obviously right that's the main thing how you i want you to think of it is with your eyes you almost want to take a picture of the ball or you want to look at so how can you work this when you're warming up before practice before a game when you catch a ball I want you to tuck it and tell the guy throwing you the ball if you see laces or no laces, okay? That's a great way to focus on you looking this ball all the way in, right? So, Scantley, or not Scantley, catches this thing. I think it's Lazar. Catches this thing, looks this ball in all the way to the tuck, as you can see with his back head. Now, he's in traffic, right? He protects this ball. Catches this thing over the top. Protects this ball. Doesn't want to hold this thing out here. Let this DB knock it out. You catch it over the shoulder. You look it all the way into the tuck. You protect this ball, and then you score. That's a great job by Lazard right there, working this catch over the top, guys. So the main things, late hands, looking this ball all the way in, as you can see, looking at if you see laces or no laces. Obviously, you're not going to be looking, paying attention to that in a game, but that's something you can work on in practice and then protecting this ball. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. Great throw by Aaron Rodgers here. So drops this thing in over the top. Late hands, watch the ball all the way in, then protect this ball. Great job. All right, so the next clip we're going to be watching is Devontae Adams running a fade. Main thing, we got to have late hands, guys. I cannot stress that enough, and we're going to see it on this example. Let's watch it full speed. So when he's coming out here, I want you to see this ball. Late hands. DB has no idea when this ball's coming. That's the main thing that I want to talk about here, guys. Once you get separation and you're in this position with this DB, right, quarterback's going to have to put it on a good ball. 100% of the time, quarterback has to put it on a good ball. This is what we're talking about. This is when we have a good ball from the quarterback. It's not underthrown, and we got to go up and high point it, catching traffic. This is when we got a good ball dropped in over the top. How are we going to make a play on this thing, right? So when this ball is coming over the top, late hands. You could see almost the last possible second. Just let it fall right into this bucket. You almost want to use, when we're catching over the shoulder, you got a big bucket right here. This DBC, he's looking back for this ball, but because Adams, see, he's playing Adams right now, because Adams doesn't show his hands early, he lets this thing fall right into the bucket. You can see this DB reacts too late. He's not going to be able to make that play, okay? When Aaron Rodgers delivers a good ball like that over the top, one of the best deep ball quarterbacks just drops this thing in right into the bucket. That's a great job showing late hands, wait until the last possible second. DB has no no time to react to this ball. That's why late hands are so important, guys, when we're catching this thing over the shoulder. We don't want to show our hands too early and let this DB make a play on this ball. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So he's coming out here. Ball drops in over the top. Late hands. Great job by Devontae Adams working these late hands. Okay, so now we're going to break down Tyreek Hill on this post corner. This is a great example of looking the ball in all the way to the catch. I cannot stress that enough, guys. So let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So he's going to be working a post corner like or just a corner. Ball's coming in over the top, looking this thing in all the way to the tuck, then he gives a lunge out to the end zone. So, as you can see, he's looking back for this ball right now, right? His eyes are going to be on this thing all the way in until it drops into that bucket like we were talking about, right? So, eyes on the ball, eyes on the ball. He follows it all the way in. I want you to watch his head. Follows this thing all the way in. This is a great ball dropped in over the corner, right, where the DB won't make a play on it. So we don't have to worry about late hands right now because this ball isn't dropped in right here. He's not running stride for stride with us. We got him by about a couple of steps, right? So we just got to make sure we look this thing in. So ball's coming, looks it in, tracks this thing in all the way into the catch, right? Eyes on the ball should be telling you if there's laces or no laces. If you're in high school, this is another way to focus on catching the ball. You focus on that stripe on the back of the ball. That's a great way. A couple tips to help you catch the ball. The way it works best for my guys is what I tell them. Hey, 
I want you to take a picture with your eyes. I want you to pretend like your eyes are like a camera and you take a picture of the ball, right? That's what I tell my guys. That's what works the best for them. But focusing on that stripe, telling the guy throwing you the ball when you're practicing, if there's laces or no laces, looking it into the tuck, that's another great way to work on your hands, work on you looking it in. And then again, after the catch, what does he do? Right to the tuck. Catches it, right to the tuck. He doesn't hold it out here, even though somebody probably wouldn't make a play on it and knock it out. He doesn't want to take that chance, right? So he protects the ball right to the tuck here and then lunges out and goes for the goal line. But He's always protecting the ball. In traffic, we've got to hover over this thing. We've got to protect this ball. That's a great job by Tyreek Hill. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming out here, tracking this ball, looking it all the way in, focusing on that stripe, laces, no laces, taking a picture with your eyes. That's a great job by Tyreek Hill. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Again, please leave in the comments who you would like to see me break down next or what kind of video you'd like to see next. I would really appreciate that, and I'll see you guys next time.